90.3 KEXP online at KEXP.org. This is Audio Oasis, the North Coast Music Show. My name is Charlize. I'm your host. And it's now time for live music by SSDD on KEXP. Listening to live music by SSDD on KEXP.
You're listening to live music by SSDD on Audio Oasis on KEXP. You just heard Trash Man and Action, and both of those are from the new album that is self-titled by SSDD. Hi. Hey, what's up? Thank you all for being here. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Um, when I look around, I, I get really happy because all of you are in all these or have been in all these other bands, are involved in the music community in these really special ways, and it just makes me really happy. Um, and you added two new members, so yeah. that, that's a part of it. And I wanted to just ask you how that, that came about. Um, well, the last time that we played on KXP, we had a different guitar player, Kimberly. And we were getting ready for a West Coast tour, uh, we stopped playing with them. It's totally cool. We're all homies. Um, but we needed to get a temporary guitar player for tour, so I asked Ricky, who I used to play music with. But in that time, we asked Jermaine to be our permanent guitar player. And halfway through the tour, Ricky came up to me and was like, hey, man, like, can I also be the guitar player? And we were like, yeah, totally. So we got back in and started reforming and making new sounds as a five-piece. Yeah which is kind of cool because live it just has this like wall of sound energy, you know? Yeah, to it. yeah, definitely really cool. So has that changed your writing process at all? Uh, or developed it in any way? It's developed it. Um, a lot of our stuff we kind of write um, in the practice space, kind of all together putting in input on what should go here or there or riffs. And then sometimes like, Ricky will sometimes bring songs and we'll kind of rearrange them together as a band and so does everybody else actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. So with all these other projects that you guys have been in in the past, what makes SSDD so special in this lineup? Uh, well, this is probably like the first like band that I've been in where it's all of my best friends. Like we hang out pretty much every night. We're always kicking it. Um, and we all get along, which is nice. Like, yeah, that's so important. That's, I think the most unique. Yeah. yeah, so I'm familiar with First Comes Money, and I'm familiar with the most recent self-titled album, but I'm not familiar with Trash Can Demos. Uh, that was a tape that we put out that has three songs that made it to the record, um, and then some songs that didn't, that we made to kind of shop around and put out so people could hear us as a five piece uh, yeah. sooner than waiting for an album. And that also helped us uh, send our demos out to Anabale Records in Italy, yeah. um, who then were like, cool, we want to do a full length with you guys. Yeah, cool. So recording those songs, where, where did you record? Well, where did you record the full length at? Uh, same place that we did the demos, which was um, Office Space with Ian. Oh, cool. Uh, Great. Curtis Christ, yeah. Yeah, love him. And so... That's my dude. Yeah. So um, did you really yeah. record the first EP in a bank yeah. or in a vault yeah. under yeah, a bank did. in yeah. Soto? Uh-huh. That's cool. Uh, yeah, it was cool. The tracking room was like you have to like open the door. Yeah. Like, yeah, it was pretty fun. Yeah, and so you moved from that to Office Space, which mm -hmm. is really great and I bet Ian has really good feedback on your sound and yeah totally yeah. it's cool to work with somebody who has very similar taste in music and yeah you know DIY culture and yeah doing things like affordable and like quick and punk yeah and so how did you get involved with Anabale uh I met them my previous band, The Intelligence, that I played in for three years, I met them in Italy. They saved our butts uh, after we were robbed. Um, robbed? <clears throat> of your gear? Nah, our van got broken into in Rome when we were sightseeing. And um, they, it was a smash and grab job. They just took our, um, our luggage and our computers. And wow, how some, stressful. It was pretty stressful. <laughs> yeah. But then it was after about 15 minutes, we're like, okay, my skin's not on fire. But yeah. Uh, so we had, they had picked up a show that had been canceled in Florence, and they were, they were running a studio in a venue out of um, a resort that their mother ran. 
and we had this wonderful experience with them. They were so cool to us. Hi, Luca. Hi, Mattia. Uh, and they, uh, they just really took care of us. And then it kind of came full circle when their band, Godzilla, was over. They had missed some shows in Chicago because of a blizzard. Um, so they'd contacted me on Facebook and asked if I could help them get a show with the intelligence. And I was like, I'm sorry, I don't play with them anymore, but I'll help you. And he's like, oh, well, what are you doing? And we had just gotten trash can demos back, so I passed that off to him. And he was like, let me know if you're having trouble finding a label. And I said, Luca, I'm having trouble finding a label. <laughs> and uh, he was like, well, out. we'll put it out. Cool. Like, I was like, just like that? Like, yeah, so it worked out pretty easily. And those guys are wonderful. Uh, they also put out uh, Scott Yoder's records. Cool and have helped them tour. They have a booking company called Zuma that's wonderful. They're really established in Europe. So, Awesome. Cool. Well, we will learn more about this, this trip to Europe that you guys are about to go on, speaking of Europe. So we'll hear some more music before that. Cool. You're listening to live music by SSDD on KEXP. SSDD on KEXP.
SSDDA on KEXP with Ice Cream Bars, which is an unreleased song, and Eyesore, which is from the self-titled album, came out in November on Anabale Records. So you're heading to Europe at the end of the year. What are you guys looking forward to uh, most? Yeah, we're headed to Europe in like two weeks. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Two weeks. Yeah. Cool. Sooner than that, mm -hmm. which makes it even way more exciting. Way more exciting. Yeah. yeah I so, cannot wait. Yeah. So have you all been there before? Well, I've never been to Europe I've at all. I've never been to Europe either. Cool. So what are you all looking forward to? Um, well, our label is in Italy, so I'm really looking forward to playing and like hanging out with those dudes. And then at the end of it, we're going to record a seven inch um, where the song that we just played, Ice Cream Bars, is going to be one of those songs. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. Do you know the person you're going to work with out there to record with? I think we're going to record with Luca from the label, and then maybe awesome. maybe Mattia also, but but definitely Luca. Cool. Anyone else have anything they've been thinking about European-wise? I'm just mostly excited to get out of America for a little while. Yeah, <laughs> cool. I think we all are. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I can't wait to see a bunch of friends over there and also just it's so much fun to tour Europe. I did yeah. it once and it was the best thing ever. Do you know all the places you're playing? Yeah, have, it's all confirmed now. Yeah, and have you, have you played at all the places before? Uh, in a lot of the major cities and some of the smaller ones and then maybe a few of the venues. But when the intelligence had been over there a whole bunch of times, so we did festivals and stuff like that. But I'm looking forward to traveling with these dudes for yeah. sure. So. Yeah, well, you guys sound great. It's going to be really, really great, and I look forward to seeing you all when you get back. Thank you all Thank for you. playing on the show. Thanks, Shirley. You just heard live music by SSDD on KEXP Woo! Seattle. Discover great music at kexp.org.